In phonetics, aspiration is the strong burst of breath that accompanies either the release or, in the case of pre-aspiration, the closure of some obstruents. In English, aspirated consonants are allophones in complementary distribution with their unaspirated counterparts, but in some other languages, notably most Indian and East Asian languages, the difference is contrasted. To feel or see the difference between aspirated and unaspirated, Separated sounds. One can put a hand or a lit candle in front of one's mouth and say pin and then bin. One should either feel a puff of air or see a flicker of the candle flame with pin that one does not get with bin. In most dialects of English, the initial consonant is aspirated in pin and unaspirated in bin. Transcription. In the International Phonetic Alphabet, aspirated consonants are written using the symbols for voiceless consonants followed by the aspiration modifier letter, a superscript form of the symbol for the voiceless glottal fricative H. For instance, P represents the voiceless bilabial stop and P represents the aspirated bilabial stop. Voiced consonants are seldom actually aspirated. Symbols for voiced consonants followed by, such as P, typically represent consonants with breathy voiced release. In the grammatical tradition of Sanskrit, aspirated consonants are called voiceless aspirated, and breathy voiced consonants are called voiced aspirated. There are no dedicated IPA symbols for degrees of aspiration and typically only two degrees are marked, an aspirated K and aspirated K. An old symbol for light aspiration was, but this is now obsolete. The aspiration modifier letter may be doubled to indicate indicate especially strong or long aspiration. Hence the two degrees of aspiration in Korean stops are sometimes transcribed K, K, K and K, but they are usually transcribed and, with the details of voice onset time given numerically, pre-aspirated consonants are marked by placing the aspiration modifier letter before the consonant symbol. P represents the pre-aspirated bilabial stop. Unaspirated attenuous consonants are occasionally marked with the modifier letter for unaspiration, a superscript equal sign, T. Usually, however, unaspirated consonants are left unmarked, T. Phonetics. Voiceless consonants are produced with the vocal folds open and not vibrating, and voiced consonants are produced when the vocal folds are fractionally closed and vibrating. Voiceless aspiration occurs when the vocal cords remain open after a consonant is released. An easy way to measure this is by noting the consonant's voice on set time, as the voicing of a following vowel cannot begin until the vocal cords close. Phonetically in some languages, such as Navajo, aspiration of stops tends to be realized as voiceless velar airflow. Aspiration of affricates is realized as an extended length of the frication. Aspirated consonants are not always followed by vowels or other voice sounds. For example, in Eastern Armenian, aspiration is contrastive even word finally, and aspirated consonants occur in consonant clusters. In Wagi, consonants are aspirated only in final position. Degree the degree of aspiration varies. The voice onset time of aspirated stops is longer or shorter depending on the language of the place of articulation. Armenian and Cantonese have aspiration that lasts about as long as English aspirated stops, in addition to unaspirated stops. Korean has lightly aspirated stops that fall between the arm. Armenian and Cantonese unaspirated and aspirated stops as well as strongly aspirated stops, whose aspiration lasts longer than that of Armenian or Cantonese. Aspiration varies with place of articulation. The Spanish voiceless stops PTK have voice onset times of about 5, 10, and 30 milliseconds, whereas English aspirated PTK have VOTs of about 60, 70, and 80 ms. Voice onset time in Korean has been measured at 20, 25, and 50 milliseconds for PTK and 90, 95 and 125 for PTK. 
doubling when aspirated consonants are doubled or geminated, the stop is held longer and then has an aspirated release. An aspirated affricate consists of a stop, fricative, and aspirated release. A doubled aspirated affricate has a longer hold in the stop portion and then has a release consisting of the fricative and aspiration. Pre-aspiration Icelandic and Faroese have consonants with pre-aspiration, and some scholars interpret them as consonant clusters as well. In Icelandic, pre-aspirated stops contrast with double stops and single stops, cap or seal. Gab, hoax, gap opening, pre-aspirated stops also occur in most Sami languages. For example, in North Sami, the unvoiced stop and affricate phonemes, P, T, T, S, T, K, are pronounced pre-aspirated in medial or final position. Fricative. Although most aspirated obstruents in the world's languages are stops and affricates, aspirated fricatives such as, or have been documented in Korean, in a few Tibeto-Burman languages, in some Oti-Manguian languages, and in the Suan language OFO. Some languages, such as Choni Tibetan, have up to four contrastive aspirated fricatives, and Voiced consonants with voiceless aspiration. True aspirated voiced consonants, as opposed to murmured consonants such as the that are common in the languages of India, are extremely rare. They have been documented in Kalabit Taa and the Kxa languages. Reported aspirated voice stops, affricates, and clicks are phonology. Aspiration has varying significance in different languages. It is either allophonic or phonemic, and may be analyzed as an underlying consonant cluster. Allophonic in some languages, such as English, aspiration is allophonic. Stops are distinguished primarily by voicing, and voiceless stops are sometimes aspirated, while voice stops are usually unaspirated. English voiceless stops are aspirated for most native speakers when their word initial or begin a stress syllable, as in pill, till, kill. They are unaspirated for almost all speakers when immediately following word initial s, as in spill, still, skill. After an s elsewhere in a word they are normally unaspirated as well, except sometimes in compound words. When the consonants in a cluster like sent are analyzed as belonging to different morphemes the stop is aspirated, but when they are analyzed as belonging to one morpheme the stop is unaspirated. For instance, to stand has unaspirated since it is not analyzed as two morphemes, but distaste has an aspirated middle because it is analyzed as dis plus taste and the word taste has an aspirated initial t. Word final voiceless stops are sometimes aspirated, phonemic. In many languages, such as Armenian, Korean, Thai, Indo-Aryan languages, Dravidian languages, Icelandic, Ancient Greek, and the varieties of Chinese, tenuous and aspirated consonants are phonemic. Unaspirated consonants like an aspirated consonants like a separate phonemes, and words are distinguished by whether they have one or the other. Consonant cluster. Alemannic German dialects have unaspirated as well as aspirated. The latter series are usually viewed as consonant clusters. Tenseness. In Danish and most southern varieties of German, the Lennus consonants transcribed for historical reasons as BD are distinguished from the Fortis counterparts PTK, mainly in the lack of aspiration. Absence French, Standard Dutch, Tamil, Italian, Russian. Spanish, Modern Greek, and Latvian are languages that do not have aspirated consonants. Examples Chinese Standard Chinese has stops and affricates distinguished by aspiration, for instance, tt, ts, ts. In pinyin, tenuous stops are written with letters that represent voiced consonants in English, and aspirated stops with letters that represent voiceless consonants.
Thus D represents T and T represents T. Wu Chinese and Southern Min has a three-way distinction in stops and affricates PPB. In addition to aspirated and unaspirated consonants, there is a series of muddy consonants like B. These are pronounced with slack or breathy voice, that is, they are weakly voiced. Muddy consonants as initial cause a syllable to be pronounced with low pitch or light tone. Indian languages Many Indo-Aryan languages have aspirated stops. Sanskrit, Hindi, Bengali, Marathi, and Gujarati have a four-way distinction in stops. Voiceless, aspirated, voice, and breathy voice to voiced aspirated, such as PPBB. Punjabi has lost breathy voiced consonants, which resulted in a tone system and therefore has a distinction between voiceless, aspirated, and voiced PPB. Some of the Dravidian languages, such as Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam, and Kannada, have a distinction between voiced and voiceless, aspirated and unaspirated only in loan words from Indo Aryan languages. In native Dravidian words, there is no distinction between these categories and stops are under-specified for voicing and aspiration. Armenian Most dialects of Armenian have aspirated stops, and some have breathy voiced stops. Classical and Eastern Armenian have a three-way distinction between voiceless, aspirated, and voiced, such as TTD. Western Armenian has a two-way distinction between aspirated and voiced TD. Western Armenian aspirated T corresponds to Eastern Armenian aspirated T and voiced D, and Western voiced D corresponds to Eastern voiceless T. Greek Some forms of Greek before the Congreek period are reconstructed as having aspirated stops. The classical Attic dialect of ancient Greek had a three-way distinction in stops like Eastern Armenian TTD. These stops were called Psi Iota Lambda Alpha, Delta Alpha Sigma Epsilon Alpha, Mu Epsilon Sigma Alpha, Thin, Thick Middle, by Con Greek grammarians. There were aspirated stops at three places of articulation, labial, coronal, and velar, PTK. Earlier Greek, represented by Mycenae and Greek, likely had a labialized velar aspirated stop K, which later became labial, coronal, or velar depending on dialect and phonetic environment. The other ancient Greek dialects, Ionic, Doric, Aeolic, and Arcado Cypriot, likely had the same three way distinction at one point, but Doric seems to have had a fricative in place of T in the classical period, and the Ionic and Aeolic dialects sometimes lost aspiration. Later, during the Con Greek period, the aspirated and voiced stops TD of Attic Greek lenited to voiceless and voiced fricatives, yielding theta th in medieval and modern Greek. Other uses Debuccalization The term aspiration sometimes refers to the sound change of debuccalization, in which a consonant is lenited to become a glottal stop or fricative. Breathy voiced release are called voiced aspirated consonants are nearly always pronounced instead with breathy voice, a type of phonation of vibration of the vocal folds. The modifier letter after a voiced consonant actually represents a breathy voiced murmured dental stop, as with the voiced aspirated bilabial stop B in the Indo-Aryan languages. This consonant is therefore more accurately transcribed as B with the diacritic for breathy voice or with the modifier letter B, a superscript form of the symbol for the voiced glottal fricative H. Some linguists restrict the double dot subscript to murmured sonorants, such as vowels and nasals, which are murmured throughout the duration, and use the superscript hook H for the breathy voiced release of obstruents.